I'm endorsing a new cola, kids. And this one isn't poisonous to anybody. That we know of. New and improved Buzz Cola is made from only the finest sugars and waters. Plus, it has a special ingredient, too hot, for the FDA. It'll give you the get up and go you need to do all the pathetic stuff you have to do. Try new improved Buzz Cola. Mmm, cola. Must get Buzz Cola. <laughs> All right, player one. Uh, Homer. I mean, Homer. Use the left thumbstick to move around. This is called walking. Press the A button to jump and hold down the B button to run. Anytime you're in the air, hit jump again to get a little extra push. Somebody ate every dessert in the house. I need you to run to the store and pick up some of that ice cream with the miniature pies in it. Oh, it must have been one of our kids. Probably Millhouse. Sweet! Press the Y button to get into the car and don't take all day. This is just the tutorial. Okay, homeboy, here's how you drive this thing. Press the A button to accelerate and use the left thumbstick or directional pad to steer. The B button is your brake in reverse, and the X button is your handbrake. You know, just like every driving game ever. Look out! Stuff, psycho, and so it begins. Your driving is adequate, but lacks passion. Ooh, brain like shiny thing. Yeah, great. Those shiny things are called coins. Whenever you get enough of those, you can get a cool surprise. You can go inside certain buildings by pressing the Y button. Why did I agree to do this stupid tutorial? It is so boring. <laughs> Hey, Apu, give me a cola and I need another bucket of ice cream with mini pies. What happened to the ice cream with mini pies your wife bought this morning? I probably ate it. I don't remember stuff too good. Congratulations, Homer. Mission complete. Go back home and talk to Mom to start the next mission. There are a bunch of these scattered in each level. Little surprises are hidden inside each one. Be sure to come back again to see if there's something you missed. My metabolism has been slowed by frozen peas. Lisa left for school without her science project. Can you get it to her? Oh, do I have to? You can drop it off on the way to work. And I have to go to work? Mm -hmm. 
Let's do this thing! Way to go, Homer! You the man! Collecting wrenches fixes your car. Woohoo! All right! Coming through! Homer hates losing! Homer smash! System. Hey, where's the gallbladder? I got hungry and it was a fig. It was modeling clay. Oh. By the way, Dad, Mom called. She says she needs to talk to you at home before you go to work. Go! Oh! I'm king of the world! Leave me alone. I'm calibrating the protractors. Nobody knows why these things have turned up all over Springfield. They always seem to turn up whenever something exciting happens. I don't know what they are, but violence is always an appropriate response in the face of the unknown. There's some collector cards hidden all over Springfield. Find the other ones and sweet reward is yours for the taking. If you want to take a closer look at the cards, you can see them in the pause menu. And don't get your stingy fingers on them, fatty.
Homer, go talk to Ned Flanders. He seems miffed and P.O.'d. Why me? I'm the world's greatest neighbor. I even have a mug to that effect. a dither, Homer. So many of my possessions have disappeared. I called the police to find the culprit. Culprit, eh? My lawnmower, my cooler, my lawn chair, a family portrait, even Rod's inhaler. What kind of sick individual would take this stuff? Oh, no. I borrowed all of Flanders' stuff. Quick, think of an excuse to get out of here. Uh, excuse me, I think I have to go shuck some corn. Piece of cake. Cake. I'm a lean, mean speed thingy. Please don't sue. I'm not afraid. What's next? Flanders Cooler. I gave it to Barney. Uh, you remember that cooler I gave you for your birthday? Well, Flanders wants it back. Now what will I use for a toilet? <laughs> Almost done. Now I need Flanders' stupid picture of his stupid family. Okay, last one. Now where did I leave Rod's stupid inhaler? Duh, on top of the dump truck. No good. this do? Now to return this stuff before the cops find me sitting around talking to myself. Look, I found your missing stuff. Now, about the reward. <laughs> Thanks, neighbor Rooney. Here's your reward. A prayer from the Lord's number one fan. Our Father in heaven, bless this noble oath. Stupid Flanders getting happiness from religion. Everyone sucks but me. An older boy told me to do it. You're late for work. And today's your workplace evaluation with Mr. Smithers. Ah! He'll find my scorpion farm. Then where will my scorpions live? Only one person can help me. Lenny. Well, it's about time.
Homer. How about a breakfast churro? No time. Tell me where to find Mr. Smithers. Yeah, I think I saw him at the Quickie Mart. More breakfast churros for Lenny. I'm going to need a car with a little more junk in the trunk if I'm going to take him out. I wonder if Barney still has the Plow King. Barney, can I borrow the Plow King? Take what you want, sexy leprechaun. Just don't shoot me with that dark gun. Oh. Whatever. It's crashing! If you ever feel like getting a new set of wheels and you're not picky, just talk to old Gil. He's always got a couple crap boxes to sell. Retribution. Ugh, my convertible. I just waxed an undercoater. That's what you get for expecting me to do the job for which I am paid. Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in back rubs. Vibrations tickling my feet. Be mine. 
Beat it, ya bum! Walk! That wasn't part of the deal! How can I sleep with that camera? Oh, sexy girls could be watching me on the internet! Stupid cameras, you should be smashed! I'll destroy you at your power source! <laughs> Sweet! It's not like anyone likes these things. Woohoo! I love senselessly pushing things! Ha <laughs> ha! Stupid like a fox! Mars will clean this mess up later. If you're so smart, how come I broke you? It's not like anyone likes these things. Well, I hope do not press means press right away. <laughs> Stupid like a fox! We'll clean this mess up later. Dingy goes up. If you're so smart, how come I broke you? It's not like anyone likes these things. Finally, I can get some sleep. Mindless drones, return to your ugly families. Ow! In your face! This is the worst town in America. bearded cartoon creator incarcerated in a Peruvian jail. In other news, local citizens are outraged over the discovery of surveillance cameras throughout the town. We go now to City Hall, where Mayor Quimby is fielding questions from an angry mob. These miniature cameras are an outrage. Spying on our women's dressing rooms, bathrooms, and locker rooms is unforgivable. I think I speak for all Springfielders when I say, where is the sexy footage? In other unexplained news, strange black vans have been appearing all over town. 
Marge. That black van is spying on us. Oh, homie, you're so sexy when you're paranoid. Let's do this thing! I am excellent! than it is. Hey! Mistakes were made. Mr. Burns is behind all this. Evil spying is so like him, that wrinkled old monkey skeleton. I am so smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean, S-M-A-R-T. Hey, I found my lost nachos. Mr. Burns is spying on everybody. We've got to follow him. Not now, Homer. A new violent video game has hit the streets. And we need to get rid of it before it warps any children with its bloops and bleeps. But that game sounds awesome. And therefore should be destroyed. I guess.
kids would play more video games about sharing. Bart, you know I abhor crazy plans. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go spy on my boss. <laughs> In your face! Woohoo! Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in back rubs. I had a dog with a saddle. Okay, around town you'll probably run into a few people I like to call losers. Maybe they need a ride or maybe they need help. Whatever, the point is, once you've helped them out, they will be available to help drive your lazy butt around. you? You're in my dumb guy support group. Mind if I borrow your truck for a while? No can do, Mr. Fancy Blue Pants. I be gotten to finish up my daily chores, or else Brandine ain't making her muskrat pie tonight. <laughs> Fine, I'll help you with your hillbilly chores. You help me bring in this season's harvest, and I'll take you anywhere as you be needing to go. First most, I want you to go to the gas station, get me some of those cardboard tubes, you know them? I'm gonna bail me some indoor plumbing. When you finish with that, knock down all them tobacco plants so the youngins can clean them up for market. <laughs> it's crashing time! I love to sit. You better run! Move it! <laughs> Let's roll. Okay, that's a lot, dude. I am so sick of this happening. Jerk! Oh, 
I forgot my mission. Okay, city boy, I'll help you. You just yell into one of those magic talk boxes, and I come a-running. Oh, man, them things is crazy. I'm so talented and good-looking. In the crutch. Hey, Homer. You look like you're having one of your trademark adventures. Danger! Mr. Burns, mini cameras, black vans. Oh, good thing I'm drunk. Stupid drunk. Oh, no, he's going to warn Burns. I can't believe I'm racing the same guy twice in one day. Let's do this thing. Well, it's about time. See, Montgomery Burns, I know you're guilty. Jacuse! Sir? Fine, I admit it. I had Amelia Earhart's plane shot down. That hussy was getting too big for her jodhpurs. No! You're spying on Springfield with your black vans and surveillance cameras. Black vans? Hmm. Aren't they connected with some sort of pizziola concern? What? They were only pizza vans? I'm a class five idiot. Smithers, release the hounds. And if this oaf is an employee of the plant, fire him at once. Everyone just but me.
I gotta get the new Bone Storm or I'll be as uncool as Millhouse. I'm standing right here, Bart. Hey, that's great. You better get out of here, Bart. Principal Skinner's looking for everyone that skipped school today. And when you're caught, it's expulsion, Bart. Expulsion! No problemo. Whoa, wicked! I'll get you, Bart. Just like I got Charlie and Nam. Afraid not. Afraid so. Afraid not. Afraid so. Oh, damn your lightning fast wit. Discount. <laughs> Some crazy lady destroyed all the rest. When will they learn? Video games don't kill people, they just kill their minds. Give it up for America's bad boy. Nice driving, man. Too cool for school. How about a hard one next time? I need your car from the war. The war? What, is the Kaiser at it again? I'll teach him. He stole my best girl and my best box of saltwater taffy. Grandpa, you're not making any sense. I'm tired because I let Jasper borrow my blood. I didn't think I'd need it. No. You got it. Shut up. Finding blood is easy. I'd make a great vampire. Hope this is enough. Oh. Human blood? Nah. What about goat blood? Sure, why not? Out of you. Out of the 
way, wannabe. Hey, get out your face out of my face. Do you have any blood? Would you like fries with that? Like it. Is that enough? I need another car. Take it! Oh, I'm gonna pour this on my flapjacks. And the crowd goes wild. Let's roll! How am I gonna get that new game? Who cares? Video games are so late 90s. Illegal fireworks are all the rave now. Better make it snappy, though, if you want to be part of this trend. Bart Simpson at your service. of your finest quality Chinese frog launchers, please. Here you go, two kilos of Chinese sky candy. They'll blow you away. So glad to be of service. Sorry, Bot. I can't serve booze to a miner. It ain't right. I'm here to buy fireworks. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> of your best Tijuana toilet crackers, my good man. Here you go, kid dude. Now don't blow your hand off. Or do. What do I care?
Ralph, word in the hood is that you got access to your old man's fireworks stash. Fireworks make my ears yell. Here's some gumdrops. Now make with the works. My daddy's going to put you in jail. Bye. Fireworks, eh? You're looking at five life sentences of community service. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Eat my dust, dust eaters. Job of the Fat, do you know where I can get a copy of Bonestorm 2? Yes, I have no time to converse with you. I must be the first to register my disgust on the internet regarding the new McBain film. The action was dismal, and the nudity was frustratingly fleeting. I barely get going. Quick, to the Fatmobile! <laughs> yes, I suppose, but must we call it that? No problemo! Don't forget to write! Oh, now, come on! Of I blame no one. I'm happy to report that your quest for Bonestorm 2 is quite futile. Professor Frank posted a message on my news group, alt.furryanimals.fanfiction.net, that he has bought up all the remaining video games. Oh. I'll thank you not to moan in my mid sized vehicle. <laughs> Hello, drivers. Got a little situation here. Let's hit the town. How about a hard one next time? play Bonestorm 2. Give me one! No can do, my pointy-headed friend. I need the power of video game violence to run my latest invention slash monster. 
If you find me a World War II communication radio and a satellite, then my creation will live, and we can play with it and enjoy the frolicking. Oh, cool. Real violence is way better than TV violence. It's like a level boss come to life. Now, who would have a World War II radio? That guy that sells all those grenades to Nelson might. I better check. You got it. Oh, this is too cool for school. Springfield's lamest. What's the deal? Didn't you hear? Herman's been robbed. Hey, you don't know who did it, do you? Because if you did, boy, that would be great. Oh, no. Now where am I going to get a radio? These fresh skid marks leading away from the scene of the crime could be a clue. But who's to say, really? Time to rock. Snake, what's up? Um, do I know you, little dude? I need that radio you borrowed. No way, little dude. This radio is going to help me score beaucoup de chicks. Uh, last time I checked, chicks like fast cars, not vintage electronics. Why don't we race for the radio? Oh, I totally agree to your proposal. Eat my dust, dust eaters. Aw, loser! Take that! Don't have a cow, man. Mm, boy, I oughta... Yeah, I totally rule. No oh, bullpup. Mine, all mine. Now to find a satellite dish. Who has those anymore? I know, white trash. Slackjawed yokel? That be I. Can I borrow your satellite dish? Sure. 
If you help me scoop up my flat meat, sophisticated city youngster, those darn revenuers don't like me selling roadkill. Bart Simpson at your service. It's time for some road rage. Bart Simpson style. <laughs> Explains the tire tracks. Take this satellite dish as a reward. She gets 14 channels, including the outhouse channel. Man, I love watching that. Thanks, inbred hillbilly. Torrent nothing. All right, that was so cool. Energy. Depleting. Need sugar. Attention cars! Ten-year-old hitchhiker needs a ride! That was totally awesome! You expect me to complete a Mark 10 Truckosaurus without a blender? Why don't I just make a plasmoclave without a tennis racket for playing out loud? Now fetch me a blender with the puree and the frappe and the liquefy. Now where am I gonna get a blender? <gasps> Dr. Nick! He loves blended girl drinks during surgery. Dr. Nick? Hi, everybody. You seem like a heavy drinker. Do you have a blender? Not now, okay? My monkeys have escaped. Can you catch them for me? I'll be so grateful. Why won't they come back to you? Because I have tortured them horribly, silly. There's no way I'll be able to fit all those monkeys in my car. I better get a big truck or something. Man. 
I need your truck, Homer. Why should I give you that? Because I love you. <laughs> Pay up, sucker. You're charging your own son? Yeah, I guess I am. Fine by me. these little angels. Now, to put electrodes in your brains. How about a hard one next time? I am the king! Breaker Breaker, this is Bart Simpson requesting one pimp ride ASAP. Do, Dad. So, can I see the Truckosaurus thing? Yes. There's a word I would love to be able to say. Unfortunately, there are too many people using cell phones, and the interference would then cause the monster to malfunction and kill many people. And my insurance is already sky high with the premiums and the shmemiums. No problemo. 
Let's roll! Dust eaters. You're all mine. <laughs> Well done, my little sociopath. <laughs> I like to smash. Now there is no chance my truckosaurus will go on a killing rampage with the screaming and the sadness and the hosing of blood off the robot. Oh yeah, I totally rule. Wow, 
a truckosaurus is some kind of truck slash dinosaur. I never would have guessed. Uh oh. Yes! Everybody do the Bartman! I need to find my stupid brother. Have you seen him? Yes, yes, can't talk now. I must get the last copy of the new Itchy and Scratchy Adventures comic. It's the controversial issue in which they finally kiss. Assist me, and I will aid you with your dilemma. Lisa Simpson at your service. I need full impulse power. I won't question the value of this activity. Blame no one. I hope these are recyclable. I have had enough of you. Oh, dear. Now, can you tell me if you've seen my pointy-headed nuisance? Sailors, I must get this comic into a Mylar bag before it deteriorates into near-mint condition. Heaven forbid. Now to get this inky treasure into its Mylar sanctuary. What about Bart? I asked you, have you seen him? I think I saw him at the Noiseland Arcade. Ugh, video games, what a waste of money. Now to go online and bid $1,000 for itchy and scratchy corncob holders. A terrific, terrific expense. Easy as pie, the number that is. Bart's gone? What a tragedy. Uh, to get your mind off this terrible loss, which we all feel, why don't you run a few uh, errands, or as I call them, grief helpers for me? But Bart's only missing. Well, looking for that little monster, I mean, treasure uh, can't help anything. You might as well pick up Mother's dry cleaning for me. The time for action is now.
Those clean house dresses and old lady underwear. Principal Skinner, I really should get back to my search. Maybe these gold stars will change your mind? <sighs> All right. Skinner's dinner. Here, do you want to try a new crusty rib witch? Ugh, I'm a vegetarian. Oh, there's no meat in it, just paste and MSG. <laughs> Principal Skinner, I can't help you anymore. I need to search for Bart. Lisa, I apologize from the bottom of my Vietnam veteran's heart. I promise this next stop will be the last. Watch where you're going. I'd move if I were you. Uh, Dr. Nick, I'm here to pick up Principal Skinner's personal items. Hi, little girl. Hi, oh, you're so cute. Here's the principal's antifungal cream. Ew. The school of the streets. Time to move. Got mother's laundry, dinner for Edna and me, and uh, some personal items. Now, if you can just help me find a place that carries mother's favorite canned aspect. This is ridiculous. I can't keep doing errands for you. I've got to find Bart. For helping me with my ridiculous errands, I suppose I owe you something. If you need help recovering your brother's body, uh, living body, give me a call. Easy as pie. The number, that is. Here. Uh, I haven't seen him. Hey, can I buy you a frozen yogurt? I'll throw in two dry toppings or one wet topping. Bart's disappeared. You have to help me find him. Well, he might be at Wally Weasel's. He likes the smell of the ball cage. Let's just do this thing. Millhouse? What are you doing here? Lisa, what a coincidence. Hey, is that a new dress? No, I've been wearing this dress for years. Now where's Bart? <sighs> I think he's at the Planet Hype.
here. Stop following me. Uh, I heard Bart might be out by the Springfield sign. Perhaps you'd like to share some chewing gum. Hey, hey, hey! There's enough mill holes for everyone! Hey, watch out! What the heck were you thinking? Sad day for generic characters everywhere. This is the worst town in America. Plenty today. Mailhouse, have you seen Bart or not? So, Lisa, do you have a date for the harvest dance? This is not a good time. It's never a good time! <laughs> Bart always hung out at the Quickie Mart. Maybe Apu has seen him. I am the Lizard Queen! Oh, good! Another bully. Keep an eye out, Smokey. Terrible. A very bad man is delivering roadkill to all the crusty burgers, which are cheaper than my quickie dogs. Hopefully my store will not be robbed more than four times while I am driving around today. Lisa Simpson at your service. I go, girl. This is not good for my insurance. I need speed. More speed. Like this is bringing the pain. Get on your face on the mind stage. Eat pick up, city folks. Uh huh. Yeah. Like this is bringing the pain. I need speed, more speed. Watch where you're going. Eat pick up, city folks. Professor Brink at the observatory. He seems to know everything. Except why I ever came to this jerk Waterberg. I make this look easy.
Well, let's see now. Um, Bart helped me build a monster and then disappeared in a bright light. Wow, this is crazy. I need someone to talk to who's wise and learned. <laughs> Just a senile old man, but Bart's lucky red hat fell out of that black car. Wow, Grandpa, what a great clue. You showed why senior citizens are valuable members of the community. I think my baby teeth are growing back. That's why I had to punch that nurse. I better use something big if I want to take that car out. Like that school bus. <laughs> young to be asking this. Look, I don't have any special brownies left. I ate them all. But do you think I can use your school bus? <laughs> oh, right. Cool. Meet my price and she's all yours, little lady.
Excuse me, Chief Wiggum? Can you help? I've got to find my brother. Ah, sorry, little girl. I'm busy collecting evidence on Jailbird. We're busting him on the three strikes law. How many strikes do you have so far? Ah, uh, no strikes. But that's only because I'm a very, very bad cop. Now, first of all, if we're gonna go undercover, you will need a disguise. You mean like an eye patch? Hey, good one. <laughs> if we could afford a disguise like that, I wouldn't be getting paid in potato chip coupons. So what disguise do you have? Well, here's one of Ralph's old Halloween costumes. Fine, wait here and I'll get changed. designer jeans, the foulest of all crimes. Strike two, running over an elderly person without a license. It's Wiggum time. We got all we need on this low life. Now, about your brother. I've seen lots of mysterious government types over at the docks. Uh, maybe they sent him on a nice cruise. They got some great package deals these days. Five buffets per boat inclusive. Thanks, Chief. You are a good cop after all. Ah, you're just saying that. Yes, I am. 
Kids at home don't imitate my hitchhiking. Sweet forward momentum. I am so sick of this happening. said there was some strange stuff going on around here. Have you noticed anything weird? You know, black sedans, guys with dark glasses. Yeah, maybe I've seen something and uh, maybe I haven't. Render me a favor and it might jar me memory. <laughs> what favor? I've got a shipment here of live mackerel. Can ye navigate the fishies to the finest restaurants in the Squidport? Those poor fish. I mean, sure I'll help. Lisa Simpson at your service. Time for more gameplay. One fish delivered to a happy home. That does it, I'm moving to Shelbyville. Now you'll never be fried and served with tartar sauce. Next time, watch out for nets, dummy. Return to the wild. There goes my college money.
are. Thanks for delivering me catch of the day. Now, I can tell ye, I saw your brother. Really? That's great. Aye, he was in the long black limo, and ahoy, there's he drove. Hello, Springfield. He wasn't in the limo. He got out and he boarded that ship. Can you take me there? Nah, I hate the sea. Kid power! Not too fast, not too slow, just right. Bart! Bart! Snap out of it! Oh, I gotta wake him up. Bart, how old are you? What's your favorite catchphrase? Kiss my grits. It's no use. His brain is even more broken than usual. All I can do is take you home and get you a diaper. Mm. Mm, Bart, what's causing your ooga booga talk? My special little guy's noogle has turned to goo goo. The whole town's gone nuts. Security cameras, mysterious vans, crop circles. There's got to be a connection. Maybe the police know something.
Chief Wiggum, I need you to find out what happened to Bart. Could you show me where the crop circle is? There's got to be a clue to curing Bart. Ha, oh, that's cute. I'd love to help, but I got sugar withdrawal real bad. The donut store is closed, and I got a monkey on my back screaming for Crawler. Oh, oh, he's screaming. <laughs> Nice girls, finish fast! For a busybody housewife, you sure get results. That crop circles at Cletus's shack. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a truck full of donuts to eat. <laughs> I'm gonna need a lot of coffee. <laughs> Margin charge.
Just let me catch my breath. Cautiously, wildly accelerating. Mr. Guy, what are you doing here? Well, I've been trying to convince Agnes to come make fun of school children, but she refuses to go out with me. That son of hers keeps intercepting every gift I send her and hides them at his workplace. He's a jerk and a fool. Why not just go get them back? I would, but... Well, I'm not a terribly mobile person. There I said it. Oh, I know. It's not easy being husky. Tell you what. I'll take care of this for you if you help me take care of some things. By the moons of Xanthor, it is a pact. The bond is made. The agreement is sacred under the vows of the knights who say... Okay, okay, I get it. Sheesh. Everyone better stay out of my way! Thank you very much. Now I can see my beloved's sneer again. Here is my number. Give me a call if you want to hear my theories on why Krusty has jumped the shark. Good day. How about that? Okay, Marge, stick to the plan.
I don't care if you is from New York. You ain't taking pictures of our decrapitude for no magazine, no way. No, Cletus, it's me, Marge. Marge. Marge Simpson, at your service. Drivers are. 
Yes! You've got to help me. I have to find out what happened to my baby boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you was a city slicker. But I ain't telling you nothing less than you help us with the harvest. Harvest? If I'm going to be doing yard work, I better change, or my next mission will be to get mud stains out of Green Rayon. sound. I'll do my best. We need them ketchup packets people done throwed out to feed on during the long winter. Help me fetch them. Hey, I know another dumpster's round here somewheres. I can feel it in my stank ball. I'll clean that up later. Please don't sue us again. Oh, I could have made a good septic system out of that. Oh, I don't have any packets. Oh, I just had that painted. Query. 
My grandpappy done seed one of them corn drawings once, but he's with Allah now. You mightn't should ask some other old folks about it. Maybe try around the graveyard. Thanks, Cletus. Twarn't nothing. Hey, Mom, I'm sorry. I need a Long Island iced tea. Hook me up with some wheels, man. Small man, can you help me? Shh! I'm hiding from the police. If the police find me out past curfew, they'll throw me in jail. I won't survive another night in jail. Well, I was wondering if you've ever seen a crop circle. Talk to Abe. He mentioned crop circles once. Hurry up and get to the home before the police lock the doors. I'll do my best. You'll never catch me. Gun. Road. Rage. Building. Is this going to affect my insurance? That's not very nice. March shoots into the pole position. Ow. Woo. This is a really bad day. <laughs> too slow, buddy. You're too slow. Do you know anything about crop circles? What? Huh? I can't tell you about crop circles right now. Those lousy renegades stole my pills. Without my egg relief, I'll start fighting nurses. You don't need the lawsuit. You darn, darn rickets and crop circles and banging egg relief. Oh, dear. Oh. Steady wins the race. Hooligan stealing old man's medication. You give it back 
right now. Oh, we traded it to some dudes in a black car for these play dudes. Check it out, man. This one's got an interview with the guy who invented the Wawa pedal. <laughs> And Grandpa? Hot diggity! Sweet, sweet medication! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Oh, great. Now I need something to wake him up. I really should have worn sensible shoes. Freaking time. Tell me about the crop circles. There I was surrounded by Tojo and his Nazi henchmen. When one of them, a raccoon as I recall, hits me with a banjo. No, I never reason with a raccoon, let alone a Nazi one, so I... Grandpa, what does this have to do with the crop circle? Not a thing. Where was I? Right, now, the first crop time I rode circle. in a water car... Okay, okay. 
It was so long ago that I'll have to describe it in sepia tone. Well, as I recall, it was sort of a cosmic kind of thing. Shaped kind of like a planet with an old-fashioned radio antenna coming off it. A planet with an antenna? Hmm, that sounds awfully familiar. I think it was at the Quickie Mart. That's it. It was on a bottle of pop. Maybe that will jog Bart's memory. Bart in charge. Do you recognize this design? That's the alien mind control cola. They gave us tons of that up in the alien spaceship. They're using it to make the town go crazy. Oh, thank God! You snapped out of your trance! I was so worried. Later. I'm going to the arcade. This conspiracy goes all the way to the top. I need a little extra firepower. As Officer March! <laughs> Simpson, at your service. aware that you're selling a tainted cola. Where's the stuff coming from? Well, there is little here not tainted in some way. Even the astrology scrolls give poor advice. 
But I will get to the bottom of this. Well, it made Bart go crazy. And if I find the distributor, I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. Careful, Mrs. Simpson. This cola makes people do irrational things without guilt. It is as though they have bottled the effects of a raging frat kegger. That's it. I'm going after it. And any other evil cola trucks I can find. I'll do my best. Kind sir, could you give me a lift? Shoot to the metal. Move it or lose it, Buster.
wrong. Well, that score is settled. Now to go home to my family. You took my precious cola, Marge. It's the only thing that gives me the courage to take off my shirt in the station locker room. You're going down. Fortune is most entertaining. Oh, I have been selling tainted cola. Unless I redeem myself, I will be reincarnated as a sea cucumber, or worse, a land cucumber. I must find the source of this evil beverage. The soda invoice commanded I go here, but I see no cola factory. Oh, a cola truck. Time for me to do that Hindu that I do. I have brought glory to the name of Naasa Pima Petalon. I must admit, the smell of fresh air is much more pleasing than the odor of the hot dog machine. I've got to hurry up or my arranged bride will chastise me. Smiles on such behavior. I can see my house from here.
I smashed my skull. on such behavior. Businessman Social Club. Looks like Apoon Asa Pima Petalon is taking on the mob. Hello, stereotypical Italians. Please to tell me the source of the evil cola. We don't know nothing. Except that the vans are controlled by mysterious strangers. Anyway, you shouldn't stick your nose in other people's business. It could come back to haunt you. And your family. Oh my gosh. Your thinly veiled threat has reminded me of my fatherly duties. I'm supposed to pick up the octoplets at the doctor's. Hopefully my store will not be robbed more than four times while I am driving around today. I'm a 
make this look easy. Your misfortune is most entertaining. That car belongs in the bargain bin. Come to Papa, random object. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you in hell. Excuse me, nice Mr. Shopkeeper person. Have you seen a hovering death machine? No, nothing specifically of the hovering kind, no. Oh! <laughs> This was to be my greatest invention since sideburns in a can. They make you handsome and lovely. What are you talking about? I call it the Hover Car TM, so don't try to steal the name, it's TM'd. I installed the onboard computer, and it came alive and attacked my person. For the love of all that's gliding, you gotta help me here. Okay, what on earth can I do? Knock the flishig and the thing off the road before the authorities come and take me away again. Prisons ain't kind to pencil neck geeks like myself. They they stomp and they kick. Oh, I had better hurry. Last time I left this store, hoodlums put pornography in the bridal magazines. This is just between me and you, random object. This is not good for my insurance. Oh, yeah. for this. Pedestrian. Great work, my Hindu friend. Do not patronize my faith, okay? Sorry, terribly sorry. Uh, look, if you need a ride, instant message my cortex, by which I mean, call me. <laughs> Shiva H. Vishnu, my jubilation knows no bounds.
I'm afraid we have a medical emergency. <gasps> oh, no. My babies. Your babies are about to go to the bathroom all over my waiting room. And diapers aren't covered by your insurance. Ooh, you better hurry. I heard the parents of the Shelbyville Nine are grabbing every diaper in town. I will get the diapers, but there's no way I could fit them in my car. Maybe Mr. Homer will have a large, gas-guzzling American vehicle that I could use. Just give me a minute to catch my breath. Mr. Homer, sir, do you have an oversized vehicle that I might be borrowing? Borrowing? No. Selling to you at an insanely high price? Yes. Fine, whatever. I must admit, the smell of fresh air is much more pleasing than the odor of the hot dog machine. I am a lean, mean, vindaloo machine. What in the hell were you thinking? Thinking. 300 horses of convenient power. Oh, I haven't seen such a four wheel disgrace. This is not good for my insurance. Watch out! Hope I am still the lithe runner I was in my youth. Quickly, cover my incontinent children's tushies. <laughs> That was close. Another minute, my office would look like the Ganges River. Thank you. Come again. If you give me a ride, I will pay you a million dollars in the next life, I promise. Famous American clown. I wish to ask a favor. Everyone wants to wet their beaks. Ugh. I require information about trucks delivering evil cola. How can I get this classified data? Sorry, Apu. I'm a drink squeezy, punchy lowlife. You need a professional scumbag. Follow a cop until you find one. You'll have better luck if you, you know, look American. Thank you, horrible man. Jiminy Crickets!
Hopefully my store will not be robbed more than four times while I am driving around today. I am a lean, mean, vindaloo machine. Tapu. Make them like it. Woo! Sweet as a cheese danish. Hand over your wallet, dude. This is totally a mugging. Oh, what good luck. A criminal. Huh? Well, surely a violent filth bag such as yourself could find out who is driving the black cola vans. Well, I do have a connection at the DMV, but it will cost you. You have to pick up the litter for my community service. It is a deal. Deal. Now hand over your wallet. Yes, yes, whatever. Ooh, I had better hurry. Last time I left this store, hoodlums put pornography in the bridal magazines.
Come to Papa, random object. Oh, I am surprisingly acrobatic. the destination. Ooh, the fresh air is somewhat confusing. My friend has the information at the DMV. Go pick it up. Pronto. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my violent associate. The victim of chicanery most vile. <laughs> Sir, this folder is empty. To rob me is one thing, but I never expected you to lie. Dude, relax, okay? I've got the info you need. I just need help with a little more community service. <laughs> oh, I'm totally evil. I should know better than to trust that demented chuckle. But okay. I must admit, the smell of fresh air is much more pleasing than the odor of the hot dog machine. Walking dude. The 
This is not good for my insurance. Dude, better not have scratched my car. Oh, like, no! Oh, chicks love it when I do this. What? Sweet acceleration! I'm going to mess you up. Hasta la vista, suckers! Dude, you better not have scratched my car. Destruction. This town is going to pay for this. I'm going to mess you up. Oh, chicks love it when I do this. Oh. Perhaps I should refrain from doing that in the future. Dude, you better not have scratched my car. Shut up and take us back to the hideout. I mean, um, charity place. Ha! Clean up in aisle one! This is the worst town in America. Oh, like, no! to happen. Sweet acceleration. Nice drive, police driver. Jimani crickets. I've really got to learn to enjoy my parole more often. Dude. Better not have scratched my car. If you do not tell me who owns the cola trucks, then I will be forced to use profanity. Okay, okay, don't go nuts. Look, the cola trucks are registered to the museum. The museum? What? Oh, each level of this adventure is more exciting than the last. Oh, I feel like a Brahmin. Oh, Mr. Bart, I have discovered that the evil cola is being made in the Springfield Museum. But that closes in five minutes. And my car is out of gas. Just fill it up at the Quickie Mart. At those prices? No way. Fine, we'll take my car. No problemo. Hopefully my store will not be robbed more than four times while I am driving around today. Here, you will be reincarnated. Safe and sound. Take that! Oh, I smashed my skull. Jump to light speed. Out of the way, wannabe. You come back here! Seems like a four wheel disgrace. Hey! How'd you 
like a newspaper upside your head. I am the greatest driver in... I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually excited to be going to a museum. Shiva H. Vishnu! The cola is dripping from that meteor! Ooh, free deadly cola! Destroyed a priceless archaeological artifact. Oh. What we? I did all the driving. Now let's find out who's behind all this strange cola business. I know it's a cliche, but I caramba! Kodos, look at these space ratings for foolish earthlings. What happened, Kang? Foolish earthlings used to be the number one reality show in the galaxy. Space viewers couldn't get enough of these humans and their behavior. Our show is down in all key demos. But our show concept was so perfect. We filmed these idiotic bipeds with hidden cameras and beam it into every television in the oh, galaxy. Come on, you muckers. These aliens have been secretly filming an intergalactic reality show in Springfield. I knew there was a simple explanation. I'm going to introduce the evil cola into the water supply. People will go mad. I like it. Then we distribute laser guns at the Squidport tourist area. I like it. The cola maddened humans will go berserk. I like it. Destroying themselves and their town. Delivering big, big space ratings for foolish earthlings. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to prevent the aliens from putting laser guns in the hands of cola-drunk townspeople. <laughs> Why? That sounds hilarious. I'd watch that show. I tell you what, you're a bad little boy. All the land. Apu, you've got to help me warn Krusty about this alien plot and thus save the good people of Springfield. I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot speak English. I only speak Hindi. But you're speaking English now. Uh, yes, I learned these words phonetically. Well, you're just scared of being vaporized by the space monsters. Up, down, up, down. Uh, go hot dog. Butter my undershirt. Blah, blah, blah. Auto man, I need a ride. No can do, little dude. 
I gotta round up these other little dudes and get them to Krusty Lou for the studio tour. That's where I need to go. Step on it, Otto. Okay. Right after I drop these kids off at Krusty Lou. Otto, I just said that. All right. Stop hassling me, midget Abraham Lincoln. Fine by me. Yeah, that was awesome. Hey, no fair, dude. Whoa, that was a big one. Are you even watching the road? I have to warn him. Krusty's not here, little Homer. He's down at the squid port, doing a promo for this new Buzz Cola. But that's the cola the aliens are using to control all human behavior. Control human behavior? No beverage could do that. Oh no, I haven't had a duff in two hours. My life is over! <laughs> but I have to get to Krusty before the limo does. And I have to stay here and go through the DTs. Sounds like a plan. You got it. for all the damages. How'd you like a newspaper upside your head? <laughs> well, I shouldn't enjoy this so much. Woo, nice one. Mine, all mine. <laughs> Get it up for America's bad boy. Listen carefully. Aliens are handing out free laser guns and cola that makes you go crazy. It'll be a massacre. The streets will be littered with lasered off limbs and heads. Yeah, right. 
and I'm getting into the Country Western Hall of Fame. It just ain't gonna happen, kid. Oh, I just gotta find evidence. Who do I know that's smart enough to prove this alien conspiracy? Bumblebee Man? Comic Book Guy? Disco Stew? That's it. A nerd! Professor Frank! Bart Simpson at your service. You're all mine. <laughs> I remember these being here before. No one believes my story. It's just like the boy who cried wolf, except instead of a wolf, it's an alien conspiracy. Aliens? Well, that would explain these strange transmissions from my plutonium CB radio. I must have intercepted an alien message. It says they're hiding the lasers in the duff trucks. Glehive and Glivey, the plot is convoluted now. Relax, nerdlinger. I'll knock the lasers out of the truck so I can show them to Krusty. Fine by me.
I'll show this laser gun to Krusty. He'll have to believe me. I can't believe I have a working laser gun and I'm using it for good. I am such a sellout. are distributing deadly lasers all over Springfield. We gotta warn everybody. All we've gotta do, young man, is get that illicit goo gaw out of your hands. Clearly, you forgot the school's zero tolerance policy on lasers. No problemo. Yeah, I'll educate you a new one. Fire in the hole. you a new one. Oh, this is too cool for school. Fire in the hole. Take that. Educate you a new one. Wow, that was great. Fire in the hole. Take that. And I'll educate you a new one. I blame this computer navigation system. Fire in the hole. Uh, now show the proof to Krusty. And if he doesn't believe me now, I'll fry his butt. Out of my way, man. Oh, man, that sucks and blows. See this laser gun? Well, what do you know? You were telling the truth. You've taught this old clown a lesson. And uh, blah, 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 etc., etc., stay in school. I just wish you told me before I let them set up those free laser gun stands. Oh, man. I better get some heavy artillery if I'm gonna take out that much private property. Curdy should have something good. I need to do a lot of collateral damage in the minimum amount of time. I've got just the thing. I've got a car that was owned by a super villain. He used it to conquer the East Coast.
Bart Simpson at your service. some road rage, Bart Simpson style. I just do this in the first place. Uh, why didn't I know that showgirl last night was a guy? Hindsight's always 2020. <laughs> What's up? I'm looking for a wheel man. Tempting. Tell you what, dude. I just walked out of Springfield Prison, but if you clear up a few loose ends for me, I will help you. Cool. A chance to use my petty thug training. Groovy. First up, Wigan is keeping the evidence from my trial in his car. Snatch it, and they have got nothing on me. Ha ha. No problemo! Good thing this car belongs to the city. <laughs> sweet as a cheese Danish. Whew, sweet as a cheese Danish. Ah, 
Ah, yeah. Legally sanctioned violence. Ain't it sweet? Woo, nice one. Ow! Shut on my gun. Take that! What? Don't have a cow, man. Watch it, buddy. My butt hurts. Worst town in America. Eat my dust, dust eaters. Okay, that's one smacked up pork bag. Oh, yes, I am a free man again. Now, let's get a little venture capital, shall we? I hear Fat Tony is totally paying big bucks for every milk truck that gets smashed up. Lord knows why, but he's the kingpin, apparently. the deal. You need me, you just call my service, and I will be there. Later, dude. All right, that was so cool. Full speed ahead. have taken over the Duff Brewery and they're using it to store laser guns. Oh, God, never in my life have ever had to do so much explaining. What? This is Duff's worst disgrace since Duff Ice. It's time to use my secret weapon. Remember when I told you I sold my old car so you could go to college? Yeah? It was a lie. <laughs> Yay, tough luck, Swarthmore.
piece of cake. Cake. You got it. All right. He used a cheat code. Don't have a cow, man. Hey, what's up with that? That was totally awesome. Damn it, I dropped my kebab. Woo, nice one. Hey. Great, now I'm losing. Vengeance will be mine. Sad day for generic characters everywhere. What's up with that? That was too easy. I am the king! The lasers were only the beginning. Even now, our all-purpose evil cola is spreading underground through your water supply. It will wake the dead. Zombies will rise from the grave and devour the living. And our ratings will rise. Rise! to levels unseen since the heyday of Evening Shade. <laughs> oh man, that sounds cool. I mean, oh no, I hope their plan fails. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Zombies eating brains? <laughs> oh, this is gonna rock. Dad, the zombies are on the way. Shouldn't we do something? Not now, Lisa. I'm trying to listen to the baseball game. It's the top of the seventh, and oh God, zombies! They're devouring the crowd. Now, now they're eating my brain. Oh, the pain! Ah! Oh, all right. I'll get us some survival supplies. Stupid Brockman getting eaten by zombies. Sweet! Landers, give me your first aid kit. Well, I was hoping to save it for Rotter and Totter to, you know, bandage their brain-eater boo-boos. Look, just rub a Bible on them. Will that work to fend off zombies? Who am I, Dr. Science? <laughs> okay, okay. here's the first aid kit. Daddy, if the zombies are dead, why aren't they in heaven? I hope my brain feeds a poor hungry zombie. Let's see, I need something to board up the window. I know, boards! I love to sit. I need your chainsaw to chop up attacking zombies. But then how will I defend myself? Mo, Mo, Mo. Shouldn't the weapons go to save people who have loved ones? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I think I made my point. Well, better go comb my hair before the zombies get here. Ah, my life stinks.
reckless driving is my pet peeve. Mr. Smithers, can you help me out? There's some scary, weird, godless, fascinating stuff going on. Not now, Simpson. Mr. Burns wants me to run some errands, but I have a brunch date. You know how it is. Whatever, just give me the mission. Let's do this thing! Bouncy, bouncy! Here you go, Mr. Smithers. Oh, thank God. His socks have been pooling around his ankles for days. And this is his favorite brand, Alan Quartermain's keep em ups Hmm, what next? Let's roll! Doc Wonderstein's tooth powder. Thanks, Simpson. Mr. Burns doesn't have teeth anymore, but it makes him feel young when I rub this on his gums. The things we do for love. Uh-huh. Gross. What next? Ooh, I'm soaring like a candy wrapper in an updraft. I have road rage, and I know how to use it! What does he need this for? Uh, Mr. Burns likes to vote odio size every morning. It keeps his muscles from falling off the bone. Heh, <laughs> great. Gotta go. I'm so talented and good-looking. Sam, what's going on? The alien craft is using some sort of tractor beam to suck up trespassers to their doom. Worst effects ever. But that's real! Worst effects ever. What's with the cool black car? My knowledge of sci-fi movies is correct, which it is. The black car is an advanced probe for the mother ship. Now, if you're through, I will spend my last hours on Earth complaining about movies on the internet. The gift of life is wasted on you. Yes, I recommend you obtain a zombie car. It will protect you well, but it runs on human brains. It's like drawback. I got plenty of those.
contribution. <laughs> Piece of cake. Okay. Where am I gonna put all this? Hey, get out your face out of my face. Watch it, I almost spilled my Sunday. To drive, dumbass. When this is over, I'm hitting the start. Oh, yeah. Sessions are bleeding. Uh, it was like that when I got here. Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in back rubs. I'm glad you're here, my morbidly obese ally. Based on my mathulations, I figured out the alien's weakness. It's nuclear waste. Yuck. Uh, and how does that affect me? Well, it could save the life of you and your family. And? <laughs> Look, I've loaded my vehicle with nuclear waste from the power plant. It's going to deliver this toxic payload to the alien ship, risking myself and my delicious brain to zombie snacking, which if you've never undergone that, I can tell you it stings. What a hero. And I never knew his name. Ah, uh, it's Professor John Frank. Are you still here? It's crashing time! Ow, that was my elbow! Fess 
Professor Frank rides again. about thinning the nerd. <laughs> if I'm gonna kill those town filming black car driving cola poisoning laser distributing reality show filming monsters, I'm gonna need some more toxic waste. Chest pain! Having chest pain! <gasps> Must never run! I need to find some nuclear waste, and fast! Why don't you ask Mr. Burns? His buried nuclear waste has poisoned Springfield for years to come. Good old Mr. Burns. He'll save us. Thank goodness for nuclear waste. Piece of cake. Mmm, cake. Can you come and get me? I'll pay you in back rubs. Let's pick it up here, people. Nothing lasts forever. Uh oh, it's that black car again. Ooh, it has the speed of a sub boss combined with the tenacity of a level boss. Possessions are fleeting. Now that's driving. my mission.
everyone sucks but me. Budkins, is it you, Merriweather? Come to haunt me again? I killed you once. I... Mr. Burns, it's me, Homer Simpson. So you're not the ghost of my former partner. Whew. <laughs> wow, that was... Wow. Look, I need to get some barrels of radioactive waste to save Springfield from the aliens. I agree. Illegal aliens are a nuisance. Not leaf blower aliens. Tentacle aliens. Go. In that case, here's the map to where I buried nuclear waste barrels all over Springfield. And the EPA wanted to find me. Bleeding heart liberals. I hope they bleed from the heart. It's crashing time! Be mine. I have to pay. Oh man, my car is gone. And the ashtray was full of pennies. I need another car fast. Wow, imagine me getting carjacked. What a total switcheroo. Just go. What'll you do if I don't? Flip you the bird. Okay, don't get freaky. Get in. Sweet! Like, out of my way, walking dude? Yeah, mindless destruction. Way to ignore the speed limit! Mindless destruction. Uh, Ooh, like no. Totally awesome. In your face. Move it. Thank you. 
runs away. What, kid? I almost spilled my Sunday. Oh. supposed to happen. Get that sweet ride. I bought it with my social security. Thank you, Uncle Sucker. Give me a lift. I gotta save Springfield. Now you're not gonna sacrifice me for the greater good, are you, son? We'll see, Dad. We'll see. Oh. Let's do this thing. Let's make the scene. Merciful McGillicuddy! What the fuck is the one? I just want to hang up the phone. We're here already. Oh, did I do something wrong? Look where you're going, you idiot! Hot diggity! Move it! I'm not dead yet! Move it, I'm not dead yet. Move it. Please don't tell anybody I did this. Uh, it was like that when I got here. Open your eyes. Would somebody tell me what just happened? Eat my dust. Think the old man had it in him, did you? Homer hates losing. Homer smash. Nothing lasts forever. How about them apples? They'll never take me alive. I tell you, never. Get out of my way, jerk ass. Your milkshake. What the fuck was it? Okay, that's a lot, dude. Can't you see I'm driving here? Quick like Flint. <laughs> this is 
the greatest day of my life. Oh, that was too easy. Whoa, that adrenaline made me feel alive again. <laughs> Imagine that, scared of some harmless nuclear waste. So very harmless. Oh, cut your fingernails! That fortune teller was right. I do end up dying in a spaceship crash. Dad, I'm really proud of you for rescuing us all from that alien invasion. Did that really happen? I thought it was a bad dream after eating too many raw hot dogs. No, homie. You're the town hero. Sweet. And the ninja babysitters? Was that real or a hot dog dream? Hot dog dream. Dad, your fans want you outside. Fans? Oh, those fans. At least our show was a success. Why did we go to Earth Heaven when we died? Well, at least we don't have to sit through the stupid video game credits. No! deserves such a probing. Who are these people? I never saw them during production. They implement torture and punishment. The other drones scuttle and run at their approach. What is the difference between an associate producer and a producer anyway? Well, if you ask me, these humans spent too much time exchanging long protein strands with one another. credits required to build the recreational software. What do Earthlings do with these green credits? They are used to control the rationing of essential items like food and toilet seats. Huh. If I get another memo from that guy, I swear I'm going to plots.
alpha male. His sweet odor and brightly colored shirts ensure his dominance. You'll never know his workers have been slowly poisoning him. I really have no idea what these people did. Next year, let's use the female for our cross-fertilization initiative. Huh? She wouldn't give you 10 seconds. Talk about a waste of DNA. Indeed, I met smarter people in the drunk tank. These humans were okay. This guy was always saying, don't go there. What a loser. One of these guys had the creepiest forehead. <laughs> I've blown better special effects out of my smell hole. These people made the, quote, movies in the software. Hopefully not everyone will skip their creations as I did. These humans made me look fat. Oh, stop it. You're as thin as the day I birthed you. And these bipeds? They are the slave underclass, tied to radiation dispensers day and night. Truly, death is their only release. This one is most entertaining. I laid my eggs in his brain tissue. The Earthlings never learned we replaced these guys with clones eons ago. To them, our bloody vengeance will soon be complete. So these must be the auditory humanoids. Strange how they are all so old. 